I'm googling for recipes to, you know, make breakfast with the LCHF diet. <clears throat> like no carbs food. And I don't know, somehow I really am feeling very sick because of this diet and I I'm craving for carbs and sugar like hell, so it's really like no, nothing sounds good and I'm not interested in making any of these things. Yesterday though, I made this, this food dinner thing and it was really good. I put a lot of cheese and a lot of fat and a lot of um, cream and everything there and it became actually really good, but for now I don't know what to do. I guess I want to have something with fish or tuna because I've been eating a lot of meat lately. I don't know what to eat today for breakfast. I don't feel like having anything without carbs. It's actually really tough to be without any sugar, you know. And the worst thing is that I've been feeling really like fainting and I'm sweating all the time. I don't know if that's because it's really hot here or is it because of the diet. I somehow feel like it's because of the diet. I never sweat when it's hot, but I don't know, I'm totally different now. And I have a headache all the time because of this diet, so... But the people say you have to give it two to three weeks before you learn to appreciate this diet and then you don't feel sick anymore. It's been raining all day, but it looks like the weather is gonna clear up now. I don't know, I could go and take a walk or sunbathing or something. Yeah, I'll do that. First I'm gonna have some potato, uh, tomato salad. I have been reading for like more than an hour about everything that has happened in Norway now, yesterday and it's like so awful, I feel really sick when I look, read these things and when I watch those videos and you know, just imagine what has happened and it's really like unbelievable it's so hard to believe that this is like it's almost our neighbor country and it's like if it can happen in Norway it can also happen in Finland now I'm really afraid of being in any country I'm really afraid now that the world is gonna be a really insecure a more insecure place and it's so bad I'm so sad it's like wherever I go I have to be really afraid that there's a bomb or someone is shooting me or you know this is just so 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 bad I don't know if you remember from my very first videos when I was um, sandpapering these uh, closets that I have to paint them white. Yeah, it's still everything undone and uh, it looks like a mess and I'm so fed up with it but I have to finish what I started. I hate this blue color and I totally want them to be white. It's a lot of work, I tell you. Do you think it looks good? I think I'm getting there. Oh crap, there's like a piece of... a bristle that fell off. I totally should activate myself now that my boyfriend is gone. I could do a lot of important things, but instead I'm just lying here and not, right now I'm searching for uh, flip-flops on eBay because I really don't have any. And I wanted Havaianas, but it turns out that, you know, none of them fit me really well. Now I was looking for Uga Australia ones, now I'm looking for Tory Burch ones, and yeah, I mean, we don't have a Tory Bird shop in Helsinki, so I have to use eBay. I just made this super huge salad to me with some tuna, mustard and mayonnaise, uh, boiled broccoli, tomatoes, eggs. Let's see if I can fit all of this. And I am watching True Blood at the same time. You know, when I told my sister that I've started watching uh, True Blood, she said, Oh no, that's so bad. Like, if you want to watch porn, then watch porn. And, like, I can't believe you're watching True Blood. And I was like, oh shit, you know. Everyone tells me it's just getting better and better, so I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, now I'm watching the fourth episode, and I have to admit that the three first ones were actually quite bad and not much happened. But, you know, I heard that it's really getting better and better, so...